Welcome back to the channel where we simplify technology for you. For this video, I will demonstrate the use of VLOOKUP function in Google Sheets. Let's get started. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It searches down the first column of a range for a key and returns the value of a specified cell in the row found. To make use of it, we start with equal sign followed by the function name and a pair of parentheses. Inside the pair of parentheses, there are four arguments separated by a comma, and these are search key, range, index, and is sorted. Let me explain it further. Search key is the value to search for in a table, while the range is the table that shows a set of data wherein the first column is the search key. Index is the content of the column to return or the specified cell while is sorted is a boolean value true or false which indicates if the range is sorted or not usually we use false for this because our table is not sorted to make things clearer let me give an example on how to use it in sales and in education feel free to get a copy of the sample file i have placed the link in the description below now we have here the code quantity ordered, product, unit price, and sales amount. Now, we have here on the right side the legend, or what we call the range. So instead of typing all the product name, we can make use of the code, and then later on, we'll just get it from the product. Same goes with the price. Instead of writing the product name and the price, we make use of the code. So to use the VLOOKUP, we start with the VLOOKUP function. Okay and then open close parentheses. The first item is the search key, in this case, the code. And the second argument is the range, which is this one from I2 to K11. And then the, from, the, the col uh, from the range, we want to return the product name. So that's on the second column. I'll put two now, which indicates the second, and then I'll type false. So again, because I want to, to put the product. If I want to put the unit price, it's the same thing, but we will just change the, the key, or sorry, the index. So look up and then open close parentheses. The code is our search key and our table is this one. And from the range or the table, I will return the third column because I want to get the unit price and I will say false, okay? Now, to indicate that I2 to K11 is a fixed range, I will put the dollar sign, okay? So again, to, put, to indicate that it is a fixed range, you put the dollar sign. Now, for the amount sales, it's just simply the unit price multiplied by the quantity ordered. So let's check onion 21. Onion 21. To apply for the rest of the row, just highlight the three formula or function that we have created and then double click the autofill on the right lower right corner of the cell pointer. So you will notice that we have apples, which is 56. Let's look for apple, which is 56, cinnamon 38, cinnamon 38. So it's all done. This is how to use it with in sales. For example, you're an educator and you have uh, a Google Sheet that generates the this this data is coming from the google form and you want to put it in your record sheet now let's say that is squeeze one so we can make use of the vlookup function and then we can make use of the email address of the student which is uh, b2 i think b2 okay and then now our range is coming from a separate sheet or a different sheet so i'll just highlight now this area so starting from the column or from the email up to the score. So that is now the range. And from that range, I will return the score, which is the third column, and then I'll just type false, okay? So you will see that we have 11 for Cabrera Wally. So before I can apply this to the rest of the row, I'll indicate that this range is fixed. So you may need to adjust the last row. So uh, I'll apply it now to the rest of the row, double click. And then let's look for Montero Irwin. 
10. So let's go back to the response sheet and we can look for Montero Irwin 10. So it's all good. And that is how you use VLOOKUP function in Google Sheet. If you have any question or inquiry, feel free to comment below. Bye for now.